If you're watching this video, you probably love Smash Ultimate. The game's tight, fast movement, explosive combos, and chess-like mind games have enthralled players since the original Super Smash Bros. in 1999. In the modern era of video games, online play comes usually as an added bonus, but almost any competitive fighter is ideally played locally. This is even more true for Smash Ultimate, where its online gameplay has been criticized since day one. An unreliable ranking system, limited options, and most of all, too much input lag have culminated in Smash Online's consistently low reputation. This was never a huge issue with the game itself, though, because we could just play offline. Well, then came this pandemic. In the even more modern era of gaming, like literally right now, offline play is still a major health risk, at least for large congregations of players. So whatever multiplayer game you want to play, it'll most likely be online. As we concluded in a previous video, the Smash community has shown willingness to put up with online Smash even with all of its shortcomings. There are still many players who have dropped the game, however, not to mention those who continue to play Smash, but pick up other competitive games as well. There is actually quite a lot out there that might look appealing to a Smash player, and almost every other competitive fighter has better net play than Smash Ultimate. In this video, we'll be discussing some alternatives to Smash Ultimate. To be clear, we're not in any way trying to discourage you from playing Smash. In fact, playing some other games may quell your frustration with Ultimate's online mode and make you more enthusiastic to pick it back up when offline events return. So for our question of the day, are you more likely to pick up a competitive game if it has a good online mode? How important is online play to you? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned to learn about some great alternatives to Smash. Hey guys, Bonk here, and for additional resources on Smash and many other competitive games, you can check out ProGuides.com. Our website features character guides for the entire cast as well as educational course programs that cover vital information. You can even tune into our live classes to interact with the pros directly or take advantage of our InstaPro platform to get yourself a pro coach today. So if you're coming from a Smash Ultimate background, it makes the most sense to start closest to home. Most Smash Ultimate players have played or at least watched Melee at some point, and there's a reason why this legendary classic remains relevant. Often considered a beautiful accident, Melee is widely regarded as the most competitive Smash game. This is a result of its extremely high skill ceiling, emphasis on fundamentals, advanced execution, and super developed metagame. At a glance, Melee looks very similar to Smash Ultimate in terms of gameplay, and from a broader perspective, it really is. The basic flow of the game is extremely similar, with the same concepts of neutral, advantage, and disadvantage applying to every situation. Although you'd never guess just by watching it, the first thing you'll notice when you switch from Ultimate to Melee is that Melee has no input buffering. If you didn't know, Smash Ultimate gives you a 9-frame window in moments where your character is unable to act, where you can input the next thing you want to do, and it will happen as soon as your character can act again. Although it definitely leads to some misinputs, this overall makes Ultimate a very forgiving game and makes it easier to pick up for beginners. In Melee, however, your inputs will only count if your character is actually able to act. This makes extremely basic actions, such as dashing after you release your shield, surprisingly precise. Although difficult to get used to at first, the result is a purely honest input system that accurately reflects your exact inputs. Compared to Smash Ultimate, Melee also has much deeper movement and much greater hit stun. Dash dancing in Melee doesn't lock you into a fixed minimum distance, so you can move very accurately as desired. Wave dashing is also far more practical, creating both another movement option that lets you slide while attacking, as well as a way to extend platform combos with wave landing. As for the hit stun, true combos are much longer and more abundant in Melee, but the DI system is also more impactful, adding a layer of depth to the advantage and disadvantage states. Air dodge is also far worse as a defensive option, so you don't really have any get out of jail free options in Melee. Okay, so Melee is a deep and rewarding competitive Smash game. You get that. But what makes it such a great option to pick up in the present day? Well, for one thing, Melee is very easy to set up on the Dolphin emulator, so you won't need an old console or a bulky CRT to play this classic. What makes Melee most appealing right now, though, is something called Slippy. Painstakingly developed by dedicated community member Fizzy, Slippy is a mod of Melee that enables something known as Rollback Netcode. 
To be clear, Melee on Dolphin has had net play for a while, and it was already better than Smash Ultimates in terms of lag, but Slippy is something worlds better. Rollback Netcode is a rather complex system that attempts to constantly predict the player's next inputs. And when it predicts incorrectly, it rolls back to swap the result to what should have happened based on the player's actual inputs. Understanding it is a bit weird, but when you try it yourself, you'll notice that it's literally as lagless as playing offline. This is revolutionary for Melee, as many competitive fighters don't have rollback netcode implemented even by their official developers. Slippy also has a ranked mode planned for future release, and you can already play against random opponents or people you know. This has drawn many players from all different communities to Melee, and makes Slippy the objectively best online experience of any Smash game ever. As appealing as it is, Melee is not at all the only alternative to Smash Ultimate. If you're looking for a similar gameplay experience to Melee, but with a bit more variety like Ultimate, you may want to check out P+. Built off the foundation of the infamous Brawl mod, Project M, P+, features a large roster of characters designed to be well-balanced competitively, and Knuckles. You can run P+, on Dolphin just like Melee, and although rollback netplay isn't supported, the P+, netplay experience should still feel smoother than Ultimate's. P+, physics and techniques work almost exactly like Melee's, with plenty of precise movement options and lots of hits done. Unlike Melee, however, P+, allows you to remap your controls so you don't have to deal with that pesky tap jump. And you can even enable a bit of buffering if that floats your boat. Oh, and Knuckles. Moving away from semi-official Smash titles, Rivals of Ether is arguably the most well-made competitive Smash clone out there. Currently available on PC and Xbox One and coming soon to Switch, Rivals is a platform fighter heavily inspired by Melee. Even just watching Rivals, you'll instantly recognize familiar concepts such as dash dancing, ladder combos, and edge guards. It features plenty of unique differences, though. In Rivals, there's no shielding, but rather a simple parry mechanic. Also, ledges cannot be grabbed at all, but characters can use wall jumps to recover from uncertain positions. Rivals doesn't have rollback either, but you'll still probably get a better online experience than Ultimate. If you're looking for something in the ballpark of Smash, but with a more unique feel, you may want to check out Brawlhalla. Easily accessible on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch, Brawlhalla has the same basic format of eliminating your opponent by knocking them off screen in a 2D arena. Beyond that though, the physics and movement feel very different, with different kinds of ground movement options, three aerial jumps for every character, and techniques that might feel foreign to any Smash player. Brawlhalla also does feature rollback netcode, so you're likely to find a great online experience in this game. As far as Smash clones go, Slap City isn't exactly the most polished when it comes to aesthetics, but the gameplay experience may surprise you. Featuring a combo system very reminiscent of Melee's will quickly get used to the goofy characters as you string your opponents to oblivion. Slap City is currently still in early access on Steam, so there might be a lot of improvements along with the official release. As of now, Slap City doesn't have rollback netcode, but you can absolutely play it online, and with a good connection and nearby opponents, it should play smoothly. Alright, so we've mentioned a few Smash clones, but being an Ultimate player doesn't mean you only want to play Smash-style games. There are plenty of other great competitive fighters with active online communities these days. Although it wound up getting cancelled, the planned EVO Online game lineup seemed to focus on titles with great online modes. Probably why Smash Ultimate was nowhere to be found? Perhaps the most famous fighting game of all time, Street Fighter V Champion Edition is always a staple in the EVO lineup. Its roots in the origin of the 2D fighter genre itself are echoed in the current iteration, making it a great introductory title for newer FGC players. As you might expect, Street Fighter does have some level of rollback netcode implementation and should get you pretty good quality online matches as you learn the game or pick it back up. However, to note, its original inclusion in EVO Online wasn't known and might have been restricted to just some level of exhibitions, because even it wasn't good enough to run an open bracket for attendees. If you're open to the traditional 2D fighter experience, there are plenty of options out there. The recently released Mortal Kombat 11 is another rollback supporting fighter that will give you a more visceral experience and you can play it on just about any platform. 
those looking for an anime-style fighter may opt for Skullgirl's second encore. Also featuring rollback netcode, this highly acclaimed indie fighter uses a tag team system to diversify your character roster. As one last suggestion, you might be looking for the maximum ratio of silliness to quality gameplay, and if so, look no further than them's fightin' herds. Currently in early access, this hilarious 2D fighter was originally supposed to be a My Little Pony game, but some legal action brought forth something more original. Don't be fooled by appearances though, this fighter is well designed and so much fun to play, especially online thanks to its rollback netcode. So whether you want to stay close to home and play Melee with Slippy, or take a deep dive into the weird world of brony battles with them's fightin' herds, there are plenty of great alternatives to Smash Ultimate out there. Since playing just about anything offline is still impractical, picking a game with great online play should probably be your priority right now. So, which Smash Ultimate alternative appeals to you most? Be sure to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another video from Pro Guides. Okay, wait, did I just say brony in a Pro Guides video?